Hi friends, how's it going? And welcome back to another Upland video. In today's video, I'm going to be <laughs> going over the Oakland release. I am so hyped for the Oakland release. It is the new city coming to Upland on, uh, here we are, Thursday afternoon at 12 p.m. PT. We will open train stations for travel to and from Oakland. However, properties will remain locked. So what's going to happen? You're going to be able to travel to Oakland by the sound by the sounds of this and then on Friday morning we'll we will begin unlocking properties make sure you are in the official Upland discord link has always been in the description down below uh, so you can get updated in case I can't get a video out for whatever reason in time um, to stay uplanded on up, uplanded updated we, we should say uplanded to, to stay updated <laughs> on uh, when all these times are coming out and when you can start minting properties Going over the release of Oakland real quick, uh, I'll be linking this article. It gives you like a little bit of history up here of uh, Oakland as well, the train stations, all that type of stuff. But I'm just going over the release right now. Wave one, we will unlock 20% of the properties that are less than 5,000 UPX and 50% of the properties that are greater than 5,000 UPX. I'm also going over in this video what I recommend you to do um from a new player to experienced player how much liquidity liquidity you have in terms of upx all that type of stuff anyway 50 percent of the properties are greater than a 5000 upx uh will be coming in wave one wave two will be on monday 8 a.m pt we will unlock 20 percent of the properties that are less than uh 5000 uh upx and 50 percent of the properties that are greater than 5,000 UPX. So how I interpret this is that, so say for example, if there's 10,000 properties that are greater than 5,000 UPX, however, there's 20,000 properties in total that are greater than 5,000 UPX, because I imagine some of them are gonna be uh, locked still. Um, so 5,000 will be coming in wave one and the rest in wave two. That's how I kind of imagine it, but there's still 10,000 uh, locked. Um, that will be uh, rolled out, I guess, over the next coming months or until the um next city is released after Oakland. So that's kind of how I interpret that, right? Uh, Brooklyn opening. Uh, this is for you newer players. Aside from new properties such as ultra rare collection and landmark properties, we will also be unlocking the majority of Brooklyn properties in two waves, uh, basically similar to these two waves up here. So what that means, if you are in uh, Brooklyn, let me just scroll out real quick and give you guys an example. They're going to be uh, unlocking, un un unlocking, goddamn, I can't English, unlocking <laughs> the majority of... Um, of uh upland so if we have a, if we take a collection this is what i recommend to new players keep an eye out on collections here so you want to go here uh collections wait for it to load real quick uh you want to be looking at on if any properties are unlocking on any of these collections right here uh sadly i will be missing out on these because i'm going to oakland i would love to stay uh so these won't be available uh i think they mentioned but these right here um if they've got locked properties within them they'll be unlocking so if we have a quick look at cobble hill can we find any locked properties in cobble hill let's have a look real quick i should have used the upx world um um thingy so yeah right here boom locked properties uh right here uh in cobble hill so that's something to look out for and those are going to be like super cheap as well. Those are going to be only like a, maybe 7k or something like that. I, I don't know exactly. Again, on UPX, well, I'm just trying to get as much information as quickly as I can out at the moment. Um, so yeah, uh, going over what I recommend uh, new players to do and experienced players. Okay, okay. So this is it. If you are under 100,000 UPX and you are in Brooklyn or Manhattan, then I would heavily recommend you stay in Brooklyn or Manhattan. If you're in Manhattan, come over to Brooklyn and start minting these uh, unlocked properties in the waves and trying to nab yourselves. Oh, look, there's a bunch. There's a bunch of unlocked properties, right? Uh, unlocked, unminted uh, or locked properties right here that you try and snag up as many collection properties as you possibly can. I've said this 
uh, I've replied to some of these questions um, in yesterday's video. And I might make more of a detailed guide for you guys, like a, an updated beginner's guide when Oakland releases. Let me know. If, if you guys want me to make content or a specific strategy video on what to look out for, the price ranges, I'm more than happy to do that. This is just a generalization type of thing. So Cobble Hill, a really good one to go for, uh, for example. Uh, I, I'm so salty that I'm going to miss out on all this stuff. But bearing in mind, this is going to be like um, heavy competition between thousands of other players. So if you miss out, you have to be quick, basically is what I'm saying. You have to be quick. Get properties if you're in Brooklyn. If you're under 100,000 UPX, stay in Brooklyn. Get as many um, collection properties as you can and the best of luck with that. That's basically what I'm recommending. If you are over 100,000 UPX and if you're in Brooklyn or Manhattan, again, this is just my recommendation. This is not a hard yes or a hard no. Take a plane. Well, if you if you're in Brooklyn, you got to take the train to Manhattan, then Manhattan to the plane. Take the plane all the way over to San Francisco, all the way over to San Francisco. This is what I've done. And you're going to land in San Fran and you're going to chill until um, they release the trains or uh, not release the trains. Uh, they allow you to travel over to Oakland. Then on 8, was it 8 a.m. PT on, the, uh, on Friday, we get to start minting properties. And it's going to be all speculation on what properties uh, are going to be in collection. So I'm going to be collection hunting. And what my general strategy, I'll give you a peek, uh, a sneak peek into my general strategy is just to basically buy three properties in every neighborhood because then at least you're guaranteed um pro collections then basically that i'm going for like i'm going for a shotgun type of uh strategy the josh shotgun the josh gun strategy where you just buy uh, loads of cheap stuff everywhere and uh with that type of logic and strategy you're gonna get something good right <laughs> instead of like pinpointing and narrowing narrowing on on a guess i'm just shooting and hoping to score lucky okay so that's my strategy uh so i'm gonna try and keep you guys updated okay the best i can the best thing for you to do is again join the official discord of upland that will be in the description down below uh, along with their website and uh this website i've used get hyped guys i'm so excited for the freaking oakland release um, if you are new to Upland, by the way, I'd hold off joining Upland until Oakland releases. So then you get to spawn in Oakland. And I'm going to be making a completely new beginner's guide. Uh, hope uh, It will be updated and hopefully I can get squeezing more information quicker for you guys. Okay, best of luck to you. I uh, hope to see you in Oakland. And I, and I want to see you guys coming back to the comment section and tell me what properties you managed to mint in Brooklyn if you're staying in Brooklyn. Uh, so excited, guys. Thank you for coming along with me on this journey in Upland. Much more stuffs to come. Giveaways, I assure you. Uh, I've got an event coming soon. I, I can't say too much about it. Well, it's not like I can't, but I want to keep it a surprise. But yeah, I'll, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching.